Hi, this video tutorial is going to show you what to do if you log into Kodi and your data has been cleared. The first thing that I need you to do is to scroll over to Settings and scroll down to Applications and hit Select. Then scroll on down to Manage Installed Applications and hit Select. Scroll down to Kodi and hit Select. And we're going to launch the application. Okay, now on the left hand side, we're going to scroll down to add ons. And ideally, over on the right hand side, you're going to see the Aries wizard. But if your data has been cleared, or sometimes if Amazon pushes an update, this will get deleted. So I'm going to show you where you need to go to find it. If you scroll down to add ons and hit select, then we're going to go up to the top where there's a little picture of a box and hit select. Scroll down to install from zip file and hit select. Scroll over to settings and hit select. And then up there where it says unknown sources, we need to make sure that this is turned on. So hit the select key. It's going to ask you and you're going to hit yes. Hit the select key. Now using your back arrow key on your remote, hit that one time. And we're going to go back to install from zip. So select that. And I want you to scroll to external storage and hit select. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're looking for the one that says respiratory.ariesproject1.zip. Select that, and we need to wait for it to install. And you can see up in the right hand corner where it says Aries Project add on enabled. Now we're going to scroll up to install from repository and hit select. Scroll down to the Aries Project and hit select. Scroll down to program add ons and hit select. Scroll down to the Aries wizard and hit select. And this is where we're going to install it. So highlight the install down there. You can see where it's already highlighted. Hit select and we're going to wait for that to download. After we have done that you need to hit the back button. Your back arrow hit it once. Hit it again. You can hit it again all the way to your back out to the main home screen. And now you can see over there on the right hand side under program add-ons, the Aries wizard. So scroll over and scroll down to the Aries wizard and hit select. It's going to tell you that you're using an unstable version of Kodi. Just hit OK. OK, now this is the Aries wizard. And in here, there are literally hundreds of builds that you can choose. When, you, when it first opens, the Browse Builds is going to be highlighted. So just hit Select. And it's going to give you a list of all different builds that you can use. Now you can get on Google and you can search these different builds and see if there's one that looks, you know, you'd rather have or not. But I'm going to recommend scrolling down to the Tomb Raider. It's Tom B. Tomb Raider. Selecting it. And then you need to scroll down. You need to make sure that you're choosing a Krypton build. The Tom B. Raider Krypton will be your family friendly version. The one underneath it says Tom B. Raider Krypton Adult that will have your XXX adult channels on it. So select which one you want and hit select. Then the little install button is going to light up. Hit select. And it's going to start downloading that build. Now while it's downloading, you want to make sure that you don't push any buttons on your remote, so just set it down and let it download.
Okay, now a window's gonna pop up and ask if you want to back up the skin profile. Scroll over to yes and hit select. Again, while this is doing this, make sure you're not pushing any buttons on your remote. Okay, now it says coding needs to be closed, so you need to hit the OK button. Just hit your select button. It's going to close Cody. Scroll down to force stop and select it. Then scroll back up to launch application and select that. And here we go. This is the Tomb Raider build. The first time you open it, you need to wait about 10 to 15 minutes to let all of the skins and add-ons load. But basically, if you're looking for shows, you're going to look underneath the TV shows. If you're looking for a movie, scroll over to movies, and you can search in the movies.